would have thought that this would have happened in the year 2016. Now, if I told people the facts in 2015, it's like, I just traveled into the future and I looked at what happened in September of 2016. Everybody said, oh, you were so smoking crack, you fat tattooed SOB. I'd be like, I know, wait and find out. They'd be like, hey, hey, you're so crazy. <laughs> what, what the hell happened in 2016? Well, one of them is sitting right here. Okay, so Fuji XT2. It is just smoking ass fast. All these people are sending me back these pictures and they're going, these are not like fanboys, they're jaded people. It's like, oh my god, this thing's so fast. Okay, so now we know what the XT2 is. I've talked about it endlessly. It's like, what else happened in the in September of 2016? Why, <clears throat> Sony rolled out an A99 II camera, which is, no matter how you slice it, no matter how you slice it, this is undeniable, it is a huge DSLR-sized camera that's got a mirror in it. Yes, I know it's a translucent mirror. I know it's not a flappy mirror. Okay, great. So, what was the news for 2016? By the way, everybody thought the A mount was dead. Everybody thought. It was like, oh my god, Sony don't give us no love. Sony created now a new problem for themselves. And this thing is $3,200. I mean, are you kidding me? I know it's 42 megapixels, but you know what? When you stick a mirror in front of a camera sensor, they even though, yeah, translucent mirror is still a mirror. There's a translucent mirror inside of every Nikon DSLR. This is not a Nikon DSLR. Um, that mirror is translucent as well. It actually sends the image back to a uh, secondary mirror underneath it that reflects to the autofocus sensor. Yeah. Do you know what a mirror does, no matter whether it's translucent or not? It blocks light. A mirror, by definition, reflects light. See, this is actually a translucent mirror also. Now, <clears throat> depends on the angle you actually uh, drop the light on, but I mean, it's perfectly clear. It's blue. This is actually an infrared pass filter. That's why it looks blue. But if I actually reflect it to you a certain way, you will see that this actually does reflect light. Yes, indeedy. So even though it's going to be a 42 megapixel sensor, the Sony uh, A99 II, that's a problem. What's the other? What? What? Everybody thought the A99 mount was dead. Uh, I saw some images where people were doing autofocus tracking with the A99 II, and I noticed that the autofocus points were missing by at least half on the subject that was being tracked that was moving. It was like a guy doing jujitsu or uh, karate and uh, the camera was missing on that so I'm not gonna make any assumptions about that but so interesting I said if I'd gone back a year and told people it's like what's gonna happen in uh, 2016 well Fuji's gonna come out with a camera that is just smoking ass fast with 4k video oh no you're smoking crack you know the Nikon D500 is just blazing fast okay it's actually a wee faster than the Nikon D500 actually fast doesn't matter what matters is keeper rate Okay. Now, obviously, the buffer isn't as deep on the uh, Fuji X-T2 as it is on the D500. D500's rocking an XQD card in slot number one. XQD card is a behemoth. I mean, it's that is one deep buffer. Okay. That's not the point. The point is, is that this thing is smoking fast. And if I, if I went back a year, people would think I was absolutely good. Well, what happened in 2016? Oh, why Sony came out with a huge DSLR-sized camera, and they basically resurrected the A-mount, which everybody thought was dead. No! Yeah, and it's got a mirror in it. It's, you know, it's not a moving mirror. It's a translucent mirror. And then Fuji came out with a camera that is just smoking ass fast with 4K video. And oh, by the way, it doesn't overheat at all. Not, I mean, not even a bit. Not even after like 25 minutes of 4K video recording. Nope, doesn't even get hot. No, you're smoking crack. <laughs> now, now Sony, regardless of whether you love Sony or otherwise, Sony has put themselves... And I noticed someone else named uh, um, Anwar Talwar. I keep getting his name wrong. The guy with the beard, I like him a lot. He probably hates me. What, what do I care? I mean, I think he's a cool dude. He's a Sikh dude. He made a video. I love Sikhs, by the way. Um, I've even told him that. I think he's a cool dude. Even he made the, the statement that I'm about to make. And that is that Sony has created a snafu of titanic proportions. It's like, <clears throat> what? Now, you can stick an A mount on uh, that E mount uh, A7 series, but the, the, the inverse is not true. You can't take those uh, G Master, G Master lenses and stick them on that A mount camera. 
Sony now has two totally. If you love Sony or you like them, you know you got to admit that that is no bueno. It's like now you've got two totally different mounts compete. It is like Sony themselves have introduced. You know how Betamax fought for dominance over VHS, and of course VHS won. It is like <laughs> it is like Sony introduced their own war. It's like we got. Glass is expensive, by the way. You know what costs a lot more than any camera? A pile of glass to fit the mount. Sony has now introduced their own beta versus VHS in their own company. <clears throat> now, I know a lot of uh, A-mount people were like, you know, wah, wah, wah. you don't give us no love no more. It's all about that E-mount. Okay, <laughs> so now Sony resurrects the A-mount, for which there have been no lenses. For how long has there been no lenses for A-mount? How long? When's the last A-mount lens that came out? When? When? So, <laughs> God, so all these people, these E-mount lenses, they can't use them on the A-mount. And he's like, what's Sony's new product for 2016? Oh, it's an A-mount camera. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's as big as like a DSLR. It is as big as any big honking DSLR. And it's got a mirror in it. What? No. Yeah, girlfriend. Yeah. So, <laughs> it's, like, it's like you got one company that now has two mounts that are competing for each other, and nobody, unless you're like super rich, nobody's going to go, I'm going to buy tons of new A mount glass. There is no new A mount glass. If they come out with it, fine. I'm going to buy tons of A mount glass and E mount. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's like one company comes out with a VHS. Let's imagine this as a different version of the past. A company comes out with Betamax. And then the same company comes out with VHS. It's like, yeah, let's let's have war within our own company. Yeah, let's have <laughs> let's have two mounts competing for each other. It's like bad news, girlfriend. That is live long and prosper. That that's not very logical, is it? Even if you love Sony to death. Let's say you love I love Sony, yeah! <laughs> you got to admit that you got two totally different mounts that are, that are fighting a war with each other within the same company. Yeah, let's see how logical that is. Mm, ah, let's see how logical that is. Yeah, it's not very logical at all, as a matter of fact. It, in, in fact, it almost kind of doesn't make really good sense. Mm, oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I said this a year ago, nobody would have believed me. But it's the truth. It's the truth. <clears throat> so the company that was been that's been saying that really tiny, small mirrorless cameras are the future just came out with a huge honking DSLR-sized camera with a mirror in it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hypocrisy. <coughs> Hypocrisy. <coughs> Hypocrisy. <coughs> Excuse me. A little bit of a cough there. <coughs> Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>